I'm gonna be making some different Halloween party foods, I guess. We have jalapeno popper mummies, um, spider dip bowl, and a bunch of other things. And I have my sister, Kaylin, who's also dressed up as a hippie this Halloween to help me uh, make some of the food, cut it, and all that good, th all of those good things. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, I don't have a picture of it, but first we're gonna start with um, some brownies and the jalapeno poppers. Uh, one of the last things we're gonna do is this, which is like, as you can see, it's like spider web, seven layer dip. I got it from Pinterest. Um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut all of the jalapenos we got. Okay, so we're gonna cut all of these jalapenos and then we're also gonna, or I'm also gonna cut the tomatoes and scallions while Kaylin gets the brownie mix going. So the batter Kaylin is gonna be using for the brownies, it's fairly simple. It's just like the Betty Crocker brownies. And I am going to cut all the veggies and then I'm gonna start with these and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the little smoky sausages in a second. Okay, so Kaylin just put the brownies in the oven and we're gonna start making the dip spider. This is just a picture of the seven layer dip, my recipe for the spiders on the back. So I'm actually gonna make a different setup so you can see this, but we have 16 um, dinner rolls right now. They're like this big individually and we're gonna make a spider with it. I'm gonna change the view so you guys can kind of see more of what's going on. Okay, so we have the 16 rolls here, nice and thawed. You take two of these rolls and you roll it up together. Okay, so here's my spider head. I moved all the other dough balls so I have some space. So here's my spider head up here. And then you take 10 of these rolls. So two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? Yep, that's good. So we're gonna take all of these rolls and combine it into one. Okay, so I'm gonna take my head and my body and move it over here so that I can roll out my legs. So you're gonna take one of these dough balls and you are going to take your knife and cut it in half. So you have two separate little dough balls. You're gonna put this one off to the side for now. You're gonna take one of your halves and you're gonna roll it out to about, ooh, it's stuck, <laughs> to about 12 inches. I'm using a tape measure because I cannot seem to find a ruler. So that is 12 inches. So that is one of our legs or one of our halves. So then you're gonna take the other half of your roll and you're gonna roll it out so that it is just um, like a few inches shorter than this one. tell but this is your long one this is your short one you're gonna take your last three dough balls and do the exact same thing you're gonna have three more long legs and three more short legs so I'm going to come back when that is done okay so now that we have all of the legs we are going to assemble the spider. Let's hope that we can figure out how to assemble this without, <laughs> because I have to move these legs. So let's see, we got, oh, let's take that other one. <laughs> take a leg and kind of just go, you wanna make the head and the body kind of close together because then when these rise up, they'll all just kind of 
cooked together. So we're gonna reform this ball because it's been sitting for a while. That's pretty, that's pretty close. So we're gonna put this here and we're gonna make the spider leg. We're just gonna go like this. And then we're gonna take And we're gonna take the other long one and do the same thing. And kinda, it doesn't really matter if they mash up in the middle, they're gonna cook together anyway. So then we go like this and, oh, I'm trying to do the same thing, but on the other side, oh, it's a little hard. Um, go like this around and then take this other little one. We're gonna kinda scrunch it up too and go like, that and then just like push that all down <laughs> then we're gonna take our little legs and make them go forward so like that and and whoop we're gonna move that <laughs> and that we're gonna yeah that works okay <laughs> then we're gonna take the other one and do the same thing that one's kind of long. <laughs> We're gonna make that and go like this. Push him down. Take the other leg. Ooh, that one's really small <laughs> or really long. Then we're gonna go like this and push it down and make a curve also. We're gonna move these back a little bit and um, so they don't cook together. And we're just gonna press these down. Cause it doesn't matter if these ones cook together. And there is our spider. Here's the spider. You're gonna melt some butter and then you're just gonna brush the butter all over the spider. Make sure you get that butter everywhere. The spider finished rising and I put some Parmesan on it and baked it and now, <gasps> there it is. There's the big spider. In a second, I'm going to cut open this part and put spinach artichoke dip in it. But I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit first. <laughs> to explain, Kaylin's making pigs in a blanket. So what she's doing is she's taking the two triangles of the crescent roll and forming them together to make a rectangle and then cutting each one of those rectangles into eight strips vertically and then wrapping that uh, strip around the little like sausages and then she's putting them on a pan getting ready for them to go in the oven. So you just saw Kaylin roll all of these. These are the um, pigs in a blanket, I guess. These are gonna go in the oven right now and I will show you when they're done. We cut the jalapeno poppers. Inside there is cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and chive mixture, and it's wrapped with a crescent roll. These are gonna be mummy jalapeno poppers. They're about to go into the oven for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. I'm really loud because my brother is awake now, but here are the mummy jalapeno poppers, and now we're adding the candy button eyes. And now I am making butter beer. So, First, we have a liter of cream soda in this pot, and we're gonna turn the heat on and boil the cream soda. And we have to, our next step is to take a bowl and put butter and sugar together and melt it. I'm gonna use the microwave until it is all dissolved. And then once that boils, we pour the butter and sugar in the pot. So I have the cream soda in here and I just added the brown sugar and butter and the cream and the uh, Werther's Originals like caramel stuff, I guess. And now it just says mix it until the Werther's Original is all melted. I'm finished with all the food. Here is the spider dip. There's artichoke dip and then we got some pita chips. My, um, these are the brownies. My mom decorated them with like the white chocolate. These are the jalapeno cheddar poppers with the crescents. These are mummies, I guess, with candy eyeballs. 
This is the dip. We just assembled it just like normal bean dip, all that, and then drew a spider web on it. And then these are just um, some pigs in a blanket with sausage and barbecue sauce. And this is the butter beer. It's very bad quality. The iPad camera, not that great. Anyway, forgot to film an outro again, so I'm editing right now while doing a different challenge. So I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Bye, guys.